Hi, I'm Chris Howard and welcome to Top of Mind. Fresh new year, fresh new ideas. What I wanna to do today is to give you a real quick rundown of five of the major themes that Gartner is going to be pursuing in 2024. They are productivity with a capital P, the future of computing, combinatorial or composite AI, human capital in the algorithmic age, and objective-based tech decisions. So what we do at Gartner at the end of every calendar year is we look across the plans that we've made for research and look for themes to emerge from those, and especially if they relate to things that are happening outside the enterprise that may be happening in the world economy or in geopolitics or other factors. And those rise to the level of what we call themes at Gartner that most of the practices that we have will contribute to. Now, in the case of 2024, the themes that we've chosen to focus on in many ways are a follow through from the rise of AI in 2023. The first theme is productivity. And I teased this a little bit at the end of 2023, but what we're doing now is really doubling down on this uh, to say, are there things about digital evolution, digital innovation, and specifically AI that change the nature of, of productivity? We hear a lot, so for example, in terms of developer productivity, uh, productivity of things like uh, customer service lines and so on. The challenge with all of these in terms of measurement is that in many of those places, we don't have a baseline. So in the case of a call center, you do have a baseline. You understand kind of how long it takes to have resolution, how many calls can come in and all this kind of thing. So as you start to apply technology to that, you can actually measure the delta. It's much harder though, when you're talking say about developers and development, because the baselines in terms of what the, what the prior productivity is don't really exist. So you end up with anecdotal evidence about did it save you time and so on. So what I've asked my teams to do is to go in and sort of really study this to say, can we make accurate comparisons to see what are the productivity gains that are there? So we're gonna do that across all functions and all practices, but also within, within specific industries. The second is the future of computing, which is a broad topic. Let me tell you how, how we've come to that. There are a number of places within Gartner where we cover specific compute technologies that are kind of out on the edge. And so in silicon and semiconductors, in quantum, uh, in exotics, uh, even down in infrastructure itself and the use of machine learning, for example, to control aspects of infrastructure. Now, these are all kind of interesting topics on their own. So how does it relate to AI? One of the things that we've learned, of course, through the last couple of years of generative AI is the enormous amount of compute that it takes to build foundation models. Uh, that has other implications like implications for the economy and so on. But actually, we have to think about different ways of computing for AI. That's where the future of computing comes in. What's happening in AI, of course, is the models are getting smaller with the goal of being able to run those on all different kinds of chipsets. Because up until now, it's been very heavy iron oriented with GPUs and things like that. The movement is towards smaller footprints, smaller models, and being able to do that compute in multiple places. So that ties into future of compute as well. Now, I mentioned quantum. Quantum is in there. This is one of these trends that Gartner has been writing about for several years, actually. But we see a lot of interest and activity here right now on quantum that we're going to be digging into that and tying all of this together. Now, what about artificial intelligence? Of course, this is a theme that Gartner is going to be pursuing, but sort of coming at it in different angles. One thing is for sure that trying to continue to match the pace of change with AI is a monumental task. So what I've asked the teams to do is where possible, kind of back that out to a bigger story that relates to what people are trying to do. So you've heard me say that generative AI is kind of settling into the overall AI stack. And when these pieces of AI work together, we call that composite AI or composite AI, depending on which accent you choose. And so we'll be covering more about the interaction of AI capabilities in the pursuit of big business objectives. The fourth big theme for Gartner will be what we're tentatively calling human capital in the algorithmic age. Kind of an ugly term, but we're going to we'll figure that out. It really is about this reckoning of humans and machines and what that changes about the nature of work itself, the nature of management, the nature of teams, how work gets produced, all of these kinds of things, which we've talked about you know, over the past several years, because that's not a new thing. But looking at really how do you become productive, there's a productivity word again, as humans and machines work together. Now, there is also an aspect to this, which is philosophical, psychological, and so on, in terms of people's relationship to machines, 
of the nature of trust itself. Uh, also, there's the challenge of information access and consumption is that as more of that information is actually being produced by AI. So there's a reckoning in there that is multiple years long. I want to get our hands around that. And the last of these is really around tech purchasing, which sounds like really dry. Uh, but what's happening, of course, is the more technology that spreads across all functions of the enterprise, the more buyers of that technology come from different spaces and may not really have the technology background. What we see in the data is that there's a high level of regret of tech spending, especially when the purchase is made by non-tech executives. And so what we're going to do is kind of shift the perspective for those buyers to think more about what are the outcomes that you seek and what are the best matches of technology for those to help build confidence in terms of, of the technology that they're purchasing. How does this relate to AI? Well, just think about the pressure to invest in solutions and figure out which players you're going to use and so on. It's so this mad race towards figuring out who your partners are going to be. What I'm asking is to step back and say, what is it that we're really trying to do and which pieces of Gen AI or other pieces of AI or other technologies altogether are actually the ways to solve the problem? So thinking about outcome-driven tech decisions. Now, as always, Gartner has lots of research that's published that goes multiple levels deeper than what I've just done. Some of what I've done here, of course, is a promise of work that we will be doing in 2024. But if you want an entry point, I would start with the top strategic technology trends. Those were conceived in many ways as a practical solution for people that were tackling AI. And so it starts kind of in the same place. The other place, of course, coming up soon are our data and analytics summits, where we'll be talking about the relationship between information architecture and data and analytics and AI, of course, as part of that. Over the next several weeks, I'll be traveling a fair amount. I'll be in Seattle. I'll be in Houston doing a tour across Scandinavia, down into Germany and other places later on in the spring. So I'll be coming to you from multiple locations, trying to bring you interesting stories as I come across them. What I'd ask for you, though, is relevant to the five themes that I talked through. What are your experiences? Like, are you seeing better productivity? How are your people and machines working together? What are you doing in terms of combinatorial or composite AI that are producing really interesting results? I really would like to hear about that so we can learn as a community. So feel free to share either at chat. Feel free to message me as well. Always open. I'm Chris Howard. This has been Top of Mind. Thanks for joining me.